Hello guys, today I'm going to be showing you how to put a gradient onto text using Photoshop for Windows. This is version CS6. Uh, so first of all, let's make a new photo. Um, this seems about right. These are the uh, presets for the YouTube thumbnails. So let's create that and we're going to want to insert some text. So let's draw a nice big text box so you guys can see. And we're just going to write something. Uh, I know. Oh, we seem to be writing in white. That's a brilliant start. Let's change the color to a black. Uh, there we go. Oh, looks like uh, it's bugging out a little bit there. So here we go. Um, I'll tell you what, actually, we will make this a little bit larger, just for now. If you don't have to make things larger, you can come up here and choose the preset, or you can actually type it in. Let's make this a 300. Oh, that's going to be a bit big, maybe a 200. That seems good enough. Right, so, on to the focus of the video. First of all, we're going to want to actually make sure that we've got a good font for adding a gradient. Because, you know, if it's sort of... Um, not very thick font, you're not really going to see the gradient, there's probably not much point putting one in. I'm actually going to use this one here, this is one uh, that I've downloaded and um, it's quite a thick font so you'll be able to see it. So once we've got this, let's go over to our layers box here and we're going to see the like and subscribe box, which is the obviously the text, um, and we're going to double left click on that and we'll see this box here pop up, this is the layer style. So. From here we can add all sorts of different things to our text, but we're going to go down and down until we find the gradient overlay, like this lip. Uh, so as you can see our text has actually changed, but you know, here's our gradients, we can choose from a number of preset ones, you know, we can choose all of these, uh, not, not the nicest, <laughs> but you know, they'll do for now, like, so if you don't, if you don't actually want one of these presets that we've got here, which I wouldn't blame you. Um, we can actually go ahead and make our own. So let's start with a standard uh, white to black one here. And if I haven't already, if I've uh, haven't already mentioned, you can actually change the smoothness here. Uh, this will be a bit more effective if we had colours in. And we can change it to uh, noise, which is lots of different colours, uh, just like you know, no uh, sound waves. I think. That's the best way to explain it. It's quite weird, but um, yeah. So uh, as you can see down here is your gradient toolbar. We've got the pins across here, which actually show what color it's fading into and how far across it's going to be before it actually fades to black. So you can actually adjust these to uh, to where you want. This will make the fade a lot, 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 uh, a lot. I don't know how to put it. A lot sharper, I think that's the right word. So as you can see, the fades actually happen here. If we move it down a little bit, it's actually going up and up and up. Oh, and we've just duplicated this one. We can delete that by just clicking the delete button there. And here we go. Let's move these back to default. So from here, we want to change the colors. So we can click on a point. Let's start with this point up here first. And you can see that you can actually set the location on the grid here and we can also change the color by clicking on the box or clicking on this arrow uh, the foreground the background here and we're going to click on the box in the middle and you'll see the color grid, color grid come up so let's get a nice vibrant red in there i think maybe a really nice red like that a nice a nice bright red so you guys can see properly and um, once you've done that you're going to press ok and then we're going to go across to our other point over here which is black on the other side of the thing and we're going to change that to a, what should we change it to, and maybe a yellow. There we go, we make some nice vibrant text there guys. Nice sharp yellow in that corner, and we're going to press OK there. Um, so, is there anything else I need to say? Not really, I don't think dragging these is going to make any difference, so we can just delete these points here. Um, actually, I don't think we can. These might just be to uh, to show the distance between the points. And from here, then we can go ahead and save our um, save our gradient that we've created. We'll save that as uh, I don't know, like 
subscribe like this and we can save it will already have preset the format and we can save that there which means we can go to other text and directly put that in without having to find the exact same colors through the color chart and once you've pressed that just press OK and that will save your text here there's a lot of other stuff we can do with the gradients I'll take you through some of them um, quickly we can actually change where the gradients coming from using this angle tool here which means you know is before it was coming up now it's coming from the side now it's coming from below and now it's coming from the other side let's set this back to about 90 there we go and any others yeah we actually have an opacity thing here which changes how bright the uh, the opacity is or how strong the um, the gradient is we can also scale this to what we want here um, this changes the smoothness I'm guessing uh, I haven't really used any of these options by the way guys and we can actually change the mode here so there's lots of different modes of course you're gonna have to go through to your gradient uh, here and do that but let's go back to normal for now which is where I've got the gradient saved and we can also reverse it to flip the gradient rounds like this um, I think that's all you need to know guys apart from you know like subscribe please uh, give me feedback on this video if you want to carry on with this series then do let me know because I will be making lots of Photoshop tutorials as I enjoy doing it it also gives me good practice so thanks for watching guys see you next time bye bye